He's gonna take you back to the past To play the shitty games that suck ass He'd rather have a buffalo Take a diarrhea dump in his ear He'd rather eat the rotten asshole Of a roadkill skunk and down it with beer He's the angriest gamer you've ever heard He's the angry Nintendo nerd He's the angry Atari Sega nerd He's the angry video game nerd When you turn on your TV Make sure it's tuned to Channel 3 He's got a nerdy shirt and a pocket pouch Although I've never seen him write anything down He's got a power glove and a filthy mouth. Armed with his ever, he will tear these games down. He's the angriest gamer you've ever heard. He's the angry Nintendo nerd. He's the angry Atari Sega nerd. He's the angry video game nerd. He plays the worst games of all time. Horrible abominations of mankind They make him so mad he could spit Or say cowabunga Cow a fucking piece of dog, dog shit. shit They rip you off and don't care one bit But this nerd he doesn't forget it Why can't a turtle swim? Why can't I land the plane? They got a quick buck for this shitload of fuck the characters' names are wrong. Why is the password so long? Why don't the weapons do anything? He's the angriest gamer you've ever heard. The game sucks so bad he makes up his own words. He's the angriest, most pissed off gaming nerd. He's the angry Atari, Amiga, CDI, ColecoVision, and Television, Sega, Neo Geo, TurboGrafx-16, Odyssey, 3DO, Commodore, Nintendo, Nerd. He's the angry video game nerd. Hey! You still don't own a Sega CD? What are you waiting for? Nintendo to make one? Uh, uh -huh. You have seen the games, right? Ah. Wrong answer, man. Show them. Whoa! Wow! It's like you get to play the games on a CD. Check out the graphics. Full motion video, a posted video that isn't full motion. 64 simultaneous colors, 12.5 megahertz processor. Holy shit, this thing is total fucking garbage. How would you like it if I conduct the rest of the video like this? Full motion video, my ass. I'd rather it be full fucking screen. So this is the Sega CD. It's a load of ass. You just pop it in the side of the Genesis like some deformed Siamese twin or something. You ever see Basket Case? Oh, whatever. So you put the fucking game in, and oh, guess what? It runs off of its own power adapter. Yeah, that's two. One for the Genesis and one for the Sega CD. If it can't run off the same power, why couldn't it just be its own independent system? Instead, it's like a fucking parasite or something. Then there's this problem, the load time. Load of shit. You can go dump your ass in the time it takes. So if you're gonna play the Sega CD, grab a beer and be patient. So this is what a typical we Sega CD game looks like. This one's called Ground your Zero Texas. Four particle beam disruptors with limited Great energy game, capacitors. huh? It's not even like playing a so game. It's like watching a movie. A bad movie. So every once in a while you get to shoot people behind haystacks. All you do is just drag your crosshairs across the screen and try to kill things. Let's see some firepower. I am personally going to call headquarters and find out what hole they dug you out of. The hole in your ass. What you gonna get? Now we got Slam City. What you, gotta get? you want some of this? You got it. 
Okay, I really don't know what I'm doing. Yo, crush him like a walnut and spring him on some salad. And put some dressing on the boy. What are they saying? Okay. Now we got double switch. Hey. Hey. Hi. Hi. My name is Eddie. Hi, Eddie. I need your help. This is my building. And since the neighborhood really sucks... Like, I this game sucks. So you're just switching different rooms and just... I, I don't know. What the fuck am I watching? God, shut up! This is Night Trap. This here is the cult classic of the Sega CD. The premise is that you're watching all these security cameras in this house, and you have to trap these weirdos in black. Why the hell are they wobbling all around? Could they possibly overact anymore? And the traps are ridiculous. And everything that's occurring in this house happens in real time, so you're constantly switching around trying to find these guys. Fuck, just missed them. See, that's what happens. The only way to get good at this game is to play it over and over and over. That's the only way to know where these guys are going to be. Yeah, get the tennis racket. Strangely, this is the most amusing part of the game. So is this all you do? Just click around and try to catch these guys? Yes. Alright, this is what I'm talking about. I sometimes forget I'm playing a game. I think I'm watching a shitty horror movie. You got a scary guy in the shower. It's classic. Oh, she's in trouble. Uh-oh. You know what? I'm supposed to save her, but that spoils the fun. I don't believe what I just saw. I know, this game sucks. Now we got Corpse Killer. Unfortunately, I can't even show you much about this game because it keeps freezing. I actually had a lot to say about this one, but right now, it's not fucking working. Corpse Killer, consider yourself lucky. Time Gal. Okay, this one is really, really weird. All you have to do is hit the control pad in the right direction at the right moment, and if you're not fast enough, you die. Her voice is just annoying. You can't catch me! You can't catch me! This one, there's not much to say. It's just shoot, 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 reload, and shoot some more. There's some minor things that annoy me. Look in the background. This is the longest block in the world, and there's a lot of national rubber stamp companies. How do they fit so many people in the car? Then there's this big ass van, but now this time, there's only one guy in there. There's not even a driver. Willie Beamish. Okay, in this game, you're a kid in detention. First, it's just like watching a cartoon for five minutes. Then an arrow appears, and you're like, oh my god, I get to do something? So you just point and click at things. Man, I'm so bored I can't stand it. I know, I'm fucking bored. The teacher talks to you, you come up with answers. Should I say, oh, that was my frog, Horny. The frog's name is Horny? Road Avenger. All right, well, same concept as Time Gal. An icon appears on the screen telling you what to do and you have to act immediately by pushing right, left, turbo, or brake. If you're half a second late, you're dead. Well, this one can't be bad, right? Remember the Genesis game, running around trying to get away from dinosaurs? Well, this is nothing like that. It's just one of those point and click games. I don't know where I'm supposed to go, and I get so bored with it I shut it off before I even get to a single dinosaur. I want some dinosaurs, damn it! Prize Fighter. Reminds me of Raging Bull. I wait like 8 minutes for the fight to start up, then what happens? I just get clobbered. I don't even know how to play this. I just tap buttons. But all I do is just swat past the guy. How do I hit him? Do I really care anyway? Nope. Now we got Soul Feast. More like Soul Feces. Well, holy shit, I gotta be honest. It reminds me of R-Type or Life Force, and that's pretty cool. So all I gotta say is, this one's not bad. The Terminator. This one's okay too. I mean, there were some flaws. For example, the enemies are too strong, which is fine, but it's annoying when every single thing you try to blow up takes so much gunfire. Even when you're in the present time, there's no bad guys that die with one shot. And I understand when you're shooting the Terminators, they're made of metal, but these are human beings. Another thing really annoying is how difficult it can be to shoot things sometimes. I can't stand still when I'm on the stairs. You can't aim your gun without moving all around. One thing I have to say, the music's awesome. Overall, this game's okay. 
There's also a lot of games which are just hard to comment on, like Sherlock Holmes. It's like one of those early CD-ROM games on the PCs. There's really no gameplay whatsoever. You're just clicking around on things and collecting clues. Kind of reminds me of Carmen Sandiego, but not as memorable. There's also a Dracula game, which is the same sort of thing. You just click on things and watch little movies here and there. Speaking of Dracula, there's another one, Bram Stoker's Dracula, but this one is actually like a game. You're just going around beating the shit out of animals. Yeah, punch them, damn bats. Mm, yeah, fucking bitches. Kick them in the face. Mm, fucking rats. So this game's pretty funny, but the control just sucks. Especially this part where you're trying to jump these rocks. Damn. Oh, that was ridiculous. I landed right on that. Then there's all these movie scenes taken right from the movie Bram Stoker's Dracula. If I wanted to watch the movie, I'd watch the damn movie. Now we got Wonder Dog. First you get this long cartoon. Some overly happy kid is walking with his dog. Everything's fine. Then some guy shows up, takes the kid away. And then the dog goes inside in his giant metal dick with balls. And he conveniently finds a costume and becomes Wonder Dog. Now we actually get into the game. And you're just shooting stars at rabbits. Yeah, kill those fucking rabbits. Can't get up there. <sighs> get up there. Damn it. Maybe someday I'll review some of these games in greater detail, but for most of them, there's really not much to say. Like this one, for example, Sewer Shark. For this game, all I have is a two-word review. Shit Shark. The only real memorable game off the top of my head is Sonic CD, which is debatably the best Sonic game ever made, and it's definitely one of the most confusing ones, too. God. Oh, shit. I'm gonna be sick. Alright. The Sega CD, it was one of the first CD-based game systems of the time, so it was kind of fascinating when it came out. The problem was, it was too expensive, the technology was just too young, it just wasn't there yet, and I don't know one person who had a Sega CD. And why is that? Because it fucking sucks! Because it fucking, because it fucking, because it fucking sucks! Think about it. In order to own a Sega CD, first you have to own the Genesis. And if that's not enough, Sega made another Genesis attachment, the 32X. Yes, this ugly mushroom-shaped piece of shit was the last effort from Sega to keep the Genesis alive to compete with its nemesis. Tune in next time, and I'll tell you all about it. Thank you.